Now, following our second place finish in Iowa, we've prayed and deliberated on the way forward. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. I can safely say, tonight, Iowa made this Republican primary a two-person race. Today, former President Donald Trump making a surprise stop at Trump headquarters in Manchester, New Hampshire, as the race for the 2024 Republican nomination shrinks. We just got some word that one of our opponents, a very capable person, is dropping out Woo! of the race, Ron DeSantis. That's right. I am standing here with <laughs> the former governor. Thank you so much. Thanks. Your reaction? I mean, I think, look, I have said I think that Ron ran a good race. I know it's personal to get into a race. It's personal to get out of a race. He's been a good governor, and he added a lot to the campaign, and we wish him well. You don't want to go there on whether or not they're equally bad? I mean, if they were, if either one of them was good, I wouldn't be running. Yes, they are equally bad. That's why I'm running. It's because I don't think we need to have Biden or Trump. I don't think we need to have two 80-year-olds sitting in the White House when we basically got to make sure that we can handle the war situation that, that we're in. We need to know they're at the top of their game. We need to know that they can take care of our national security and our economy. Right now, I don't know that people feel like that with either one. So that's why we're giving them a choice. Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell you. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. 